We're here in New York City outside of Prospect Park where yesterday a young bull, this one pictured right here, escaped from a slaughterhouse and ran frantically for nearly two miles through the streets of Brooklyn and ended up here in a field in Prospect Park. And luckily, through the actions of the NYPD, local activists who are here, the mayor's office, and a sanctuary in New Jersey named Skylands, this bull that's now named Shankar, who's only 10 months old, will live a life of freedom and peace in a sanctuary. Animal advocates are gathered here today to celebrate the fact that this one animal managed through his will to live, to escape and have a happy ending. But there are billions of other animals that end up on people's plates. And the advocates here are calling on city officials to shut down the nearly 100 live slaughter markets that operate throughout New York City. They operate in densely populated areas where there are health risks associated with live slaughter. And there are all too many of these incidences where animals escape and run frantically through the streets for their lives. So that's the call to action for the advocates here. And they're also giving a debt of gratitude to Mike Stura, who runs um, Skylands Animal Sanctuary, where Shankar and many others who um, were rescued from slaughterhouses or other terrible situations get to live their lives. And we have some people here who were on the scene yesterday. This got so much media coverage. So many in the community were rooting for um, this bull to uh, be given a reprieve from death. And so many do not. Literally billions of animals every year end up slaughtered for food. And that's why the message on these signs is go vegan. Because when these, um, when animals manage to escape and run for their lives from slaughterhouses, so many people have compassion and root for the animal. And I think part of the message here today is that you can save animals' lives every day by what you choose to eat and by switching to a vegan, cruelty-free lifestyle. And it's easier than ever, especially in New York City. So we have some amazing New Yorkers who happen to be vegans and animal advocates who were here yesterday, some of whom were actually on the scene yesterday helping coordinate the efforts to rescue the bull. And I think we, um, who wants to go live and talk to the viewers about what that experience was yesterday? He was here. Michael, like, yeah. like yeah. Michael Heron, who's filming, was here. <laughs> we can, um, yeah, we can switch that around. If we, oh, yeah. just this way? It's yeah, the there we go. Um, yeah. Let's, over here. let's yeah. rotate. Yeah, yeah that's We're good. Rotate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoa, well, how's yeah. that for technology? That, that was amazing. So you were here yesterday. Yeah, I was yeah. here yesterday. I live in the neighborhood and I heard the helicopters and I saw my vegan friends posting on Facebook that um, this cow had escaped from a slaughterhouse. Yeah. And it's this combination of excitement and like terror, like what's gonna happen now to this cow? Yeah. Um, so I came out and a, a bunch of activists showed up and I, like every time I turned around, there was someone else I knew from the activist community. It was amazing. And we were like shouting at the cops and trying to talk to the cops about Mike Stur is on his way from Skylands and we have like, don't do anything to this cow. And everything, this cow had a happy ending. So it was really, really um, exciting. And and I, I, I'm here tonight because I want to make sure people remember like every animal can have a happy ending like this if we all take animals off our plate and off our bodies and um, live a vegan life. That's so well said. And I actually spoke to Mike Stur who's on his way, but I think he's stuck in some traffic. And he said that, um, the bull is doing well, although it has an injury to its leg because we believe he was hit by a car on his frantic run through the streets and also um, almost injured a child because he um, hit a stroller when he was running to get to the park. Um, and this is just another incident of how dangerous it is to have slaughterhouses operating in New York City. And he said that a common theme that, and this, this animal weighs about 550 pounds, Mike says, because I spoke to him on the phone about an hour ago. And a common theme that he finds with these animals, because he's rescued about dozens of them, just from New York City that have escaped like this, um, that's how often it happens. He says that they have, they tend to be very aggressive, the ones that manage to escape, and they have, they're very strong-willed and they have a, a, a strong will to live. But I really feel that um, if most people could experience these animals and get to know them, they would see that they all have a, have a will to live. Some may be more aggressive than others, like any animal, like some dogs or cats have a more aggressive personality than others, but all would choose to escape and run for their lives if they could. Um, is there anyone else here who wants to 
say um, how they feel about this happening and um, why they think Cynthia King is a resident. Cynthia King, yes, lives in the neighborhood and also came over. I just want to say, yeah, yeah, I live in the neighborhood and I really, I cannot believe that in my beautiful, wonderful city of New York City, New York City and in Brooklyn, that animals are being slaughtered in slaughterhouses in our city. You know, our city is on the forefront of everything, art and culture and innovation. We should not be living in this, uh, doing, having this archaic activity happening in our, in our borough and honestly anywhere because like we, like Mike said and other people, people were out here rooting for this bull and didn't make the connection, went home and, and ate another animal that could have also been free. But we have to help people, we have to help them to make that connection because honestly, it's it's 2017, there's, there's no reason for people to be still in this horrible cycle with something that hurts their health, hurts the environment, and obviously causes pain and suffering to so many sentient animals. Thank you, Cynthia. Um, and again, for all the viewers who want to check in on Shankar the Bull and learn more about the sanctuary, look up on Facebook, Skylands Animal Sanctuary, S-K-Y-L-A-N-D-S. You can actually visit on the weekends, visit um, Shankar and so many of the other animals. Um, they have a Facebook page, they have a website. They're located in New Jersey, I think under two hours from New York City. It's a great place to take your family, for people to learn about animals that are raised for food and why they are so much more than just food and should not be food so I encourage people to do that and I think the activists have a couple of chants that they want to do for the viewers at home that kind of sum up why they're out here today we have um, Leo who's gonna lead us can I say something? Yes. Oh, Leo. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Another I, I Brooklyn I can never resident. like not talk, so I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, I just want to say for everybody that is watching this, wherever you are. Um, Facts of life, at this moment, we live in a society of normalized violence uh, from our day-to-day -day lives, from the schools that our children go to, for people in our families and in our neighborhood, and in the Oval Office. Um, there are many, many opportunities that you have in front of you every single day to speak out against normalized violence, and there's not always as much of an opportunity to have a direct impact on the world around you, on the innocent individuals in your lives. And I just want to say that by choosing a more compassionate lifestyle, you have the opportunity to be a hero for every single animal that, you, that does not end up on your plate. So uh, this bull was very fortunate that Mike Storer from Skyland stepped up to the plate and other animal advocates in New York City were able to speak out on his behalf and act accordingly. And not every animal is so fortunate. So everybody who wants to have an opportunity to affect change immediately in your lifestyle, you have the opportunity to be a hero for that animal and for yourself. Thank you, Leo. We're hearing from some of the viewers that they are demanding that we hear from these two lovely children here. Introduce yourselves, girls. I'm Gia. And Speak I'm Angelina. Loud. And we're both vegan. And we are here to stop all slaughterhouses at NYC. And go vegan! Yeah. Why are you hesitating? Wait, Just wait. do it! I have something. These animals are hurting in pain. They're getting injuries and we need to help them. We, they, we, just like we have pain, they have pain, we have a heart, We, they have a heart, and we need to help these animals. And thank you. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do some chants, everybody. Peace begins on your plate. Peace begins on your plate. On your plate! Peace begins! On your plate! And slaughter in NYC! 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 Peace begins! On your plate! Peace begins! On your plate! Peace begins! On your plate! And slaughter in NYC! 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 Peace begins! On your plate! Peace begins! On your plate! Peace 
Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. This is Adita Bernkrantz signing off for Jane Unchained. Please check out Skyland's Animal Sanctuary. Give them a like on Facebook. Donate, help to the care for Shankar and many other animals. And the main message here is go vegan. Thank you.